your boy crypto millie back with another one a lot of people don't know that one of the main reasons solana and ethereum's ecosystem exploded was because the tokens in the ecosystem exploded and my thesis for bittensor tau is that all it needs is a few billion dollar runners and this ecosystem could push tau's price to north of three thousand dollars again this is just my opinion and my thesis there's one subnet that has been going absolutely bonkers for the last month or so but a lot of people don't understand it so i want to bring this subnet to you guys it's ridges ai subnet 62 be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell we got to talk about why this subnet could be the subnet that takes the bit tensor price to new heights if you like these type of videos weekly on the tensor tau subnets make sure that you engage with the video and let me know in the comments man what are your favorite subnets i want to know what subnets you are buying if you buying any subnets or if you're kind of like i don't know about the subnets yet millie let me know in the comments but let's get into subnet 62 ridges ai a little bit of context here you can see that the market is correcting today if you want to know why the market is corrected be sure to check out that video i made a few hours ago but i think that this is bullish especially if you truly believe that the next leg will be lucrative or you believe that at some point within the next three to six months we get an altcoin season i want to point out that tau here has broken the 50-day moving average I would look to for it to retest maybe this FVG gap here or the 618 to 786 our golden pocket but that's neither here nor there. I think that if Ethereum continues to show strength, Solana continues to show strength, the Bitcoin dominance capitulates and we get some type of hints that QT is ending coupled with the continuation of the global M2, a lot of altcoins will go parabolic and Tau sits right in the perfect intersection between artificial intelligence and cryptocurrency, two of the fastest appreciating assets, financial assets of all time. Now, the reason that I truly believe that a few subnets going to billions of dollars could take Tau into another atmosphere as far as price action is because of the limited supply to scarcity and the mirrored tokenomics of Bitcoin. Yes, this has the same tokenomics as Bitcoin. It's a scarcity token with only 21 million tokens. And we're talking about a project that's sitting at $338 with only 21 million tokens. Guys, go do your research on the Bitcoin halving. Then go do your research on the BitTensor halving. I also made a video on that. I'll be sure to put it at the end of the video in the credits. Now, Bridges AI, you can see that this thing has been going parabolic. It's been going parabolic for a while now. Um, as a new investor in BitTensor, of course, do your research. Wait till these things cool off. But I want to talk about why it has been going parabolic. Now, this is not the easiest subnet to understand. So I'm going to use my model to help me uh, regurgitate regurgitate this information to you guys um in a way that you can understand again another great tool that i personally like to use is dsv you can go check out their uh revenue search right uh they have a podcast called revenue search where they talk to shaquille himself which is the owner of subnet 62 ridges right um and so like i said guys go check out this podcast after you watch this video but in my opinion, right, there is a market opportunity here for subnet 62 Ridges AI, right? Um, what Ridges AI is, is AI software agents that replace or supercharge human coders, right? There's a massive market opportunity in software engineering, larger than many countries' GDP. Ridges is positioned to disrupt making AI agents accessible, scalable, and potentially reducing time and costs of hiring human developers. So similar to what you see from Claude Code, what they are building is they're building AI agents that can pretty much audit any type of code with blazing speed, right? Um, whether you're coding an application or coding a game, let's say you make a mistake and you don't have the time to really go back and, and fix these mistakes, or maybe you already have an application live and you're getting errors, your Ridges AI agents work 24 seven to make sure that your code is pristine. And you're already seeing this network effect because so many people are already joining their platform, whether it's mining or building. And I think that this is huge, right? They have the two phase go-to market, which was 
phase one currently, um, starting with the BitTensor community, uh, public API, performance benchmarks, and payment integration, right? So as you know, a lot of these subnets generate revenue, and they put that revenue back into alpha. So this gives an opportunity for alpha holders to, you know, multi you know earn multipliers. The one thing I want to say, though, about buying subnets is not like a SPL token, Solana token. It's not like an ERC-20 token, an Ethereum token, right? It's not like none of that, right? What you're doing, right, in theory, right, is you're putting capital, right, into a company startup and helping it create attention to the BitTensor AI marketplace, right? You're investing in intelligence, right? Um, of course, you can make multipliers. You can earn APY, whatever. But most people think it's like I buy the alpha token um, and if it 3x or 3, it works a little bit different, right? Because they have emissions, which these miners earn emissions, right? And they sell off the emissions to further uh, help the platform appreciate, right? So what you're doing is you're invest investing in small startup companies um, with the belief that they will get adopted, with the belief that BitTensor will get adopted. And you're already starting to see that institutional interest, right? So um, look at it as, uh, as investing into a small company in its early stages and understand sometimes small companies are not profitable immediately right it's not a meme coin it's not a utility token like eth it's your these are startups right that are ushering in the movement of artificial intelligence and there are some beautiful things being built on BitTensor. phase two full scale open to everyone so they plan on open this to everyone agent marketplace ida integration where if you ever used uh uh um, claude code right you download it and you can pull up the platform um from your windows so that'll be able to be integrated for everybody to use and it'll be open source, right? Which creates lots of competition. And the crazy thing about the competition, right? If you are a builder, if you are a developer, you can go right now and compete for their winner takes all mining, right? So the, there's a daily reward, reward for the top agent um, with the best problem solving improvement, right? Top AI agent wins all network emissions until beaten. There's people making 40 to 50K a day with Ridges AI. And this ecosystem continues to grow because everybody is hearing about it through word of mouth. And they're, they're, they're coming with their best game to actually win this pot, right? Creates intense competition and rapid innovation. Miners evaluated on tough coding problems from SWE Bench. Of course, we just talked about this being open source, so it's competitive, um, fully open source model, agno agnostic, 1,000 plus agents submitted recently, 800 plus dashboard users. This is crazy. This is crazy. And I want to add that the market cap to Ridges AI currently is only $41 million. So it's not even a top subnet just yet. It may become though, but it's not the top subnet just yet. So this is garnering a lot of hype. Uh, real open source contribu um, contributions via pull requests. And then we got to talk about the cost versus centralized competitors because you might have seen uh, the post that I made here on um, X. So let's say you're building a, a platform and you're trying to scale this well, application, should I say? You're trying to scale this application. I'm not talking about vibe coding, right? And I made it clear. Most people think Claude costs $20 a month. True. If you're just vibe coding, that means you're just doing coding for a hobby. But let's say you're building a multi million dollar application that is using compute power, like it's on 24 7 and it has a lot of traffic, right? Well, then this, this, this the prices change, right? Because now you're looking at things from a uh, uh, institutional standpoint, right? You're uh, uh building this this huge application and it's costing people so much money in fact they say for every five dollars claude spends they only make one dollar in profit that's how messed up it is for some of these centralized uh, uh you know giants out there and ridges has proven mathematically proven to be three 180x cheaper than the centralized giants right so instead of if you have this massive application you're building, it's costing you like 200, 300,000 a month using Claude Opus, right? Ridges AI is 1K a month regardless, and they're utilizing Chutes, another BitTensor subnet, and of course, DeepSeek. So 
Uh, this makes things affordable, scalable, local run options for indie devs and enterprises. I think right now they're focusing on enterprises, but the you know I've seen a, a, a post out there um, from one of the team members of Ridge where they said they're looking at ways to make it like you know how Claude is twenty dollars a month for people that just vibe coding for a hobby. So this is going to be crazy because um, that's three hundred x savings for anybody building a massive application. And I've talked about this before, how some of these subnets are already competing with centralized uh, entities, right? As far as uh, cost efficiency, when you look at Chutes, when you look at uh, what Ridges is doing, when you look at Gradient. So another subnet that I believe is going to be huge. And uh, again, they do have a, a product timeline and a full product launch uh, expected to be sometime around September 2025, right? So Ridges AI modern ai coding agents for decentralized software engineering um ridges ai provides autonomous ai coding agents that can fully replace or supercharge human developers handling the entire development life cycle these agents independently write tests and debug code tackling everything from simple scripts to complex projects while operating on bittensor's decentralized competitive network and they are working to attack a $400 billion market, guys. A lot of subnets are, are, are attacking these markets, right? The software engineering market is massive, valued at over $400 billion. And Bridges AI aims to disrupt this landscape by significantly reducing development costs and accelerating delivery times. We talked about the two-phase go-to-market approach um, and how they're awarding uh, winner-take-all miners emissions. This is also open source. So all agent code and ridges is fully open source in model uh, agnostic operating on top of any large language model LLM. Miners compete head to head, but also polish and share their solutions, fostering a fast paced, innovative community with over 1000 agents submitted and 800 plus dashboard users. And um, we also talked about how this is very, very competitive. So I would look forward to the product launch, right? This is, and these guys are shipping on, on, on BitTensor and Tau. Like I said, this is why Tau is my largest holding, right? Because again, it's the ability to incentivize AI intelligence, but it's also a cryptocurrency. And now at this intersection, right, we got two of the biggest narrative in the financial system, AI and crypto, just smashing each other and creating a massive opportunity for any genius or anybody that wants to build and contribute to decentralized artificial intelligence. So the Full Ridges AI product launches this September, marking a milestone in AI powered coding tools for both crypto natives. Um, the complete agent mark marketplace will come with a direct API. I'm excited for this because I do a little bit of vibe code and I code a little bit, so I'm excited about this. And we'll expand coding task types and capabilities. Um, early beta features available now. So you can go test this now on their website. You can go mine on their website with just logging in through Gmail. So if you build AI agents and you want to be part of this competition that they have daily with problem solving, you can literally log in with your Gmail and create create an agent and compete for this 40k to 50k daily guys and so many people just don't know about this not to add if you just want to buy alpha right you can see that the project here has been on a only up like for how many days it's been days right um and it is important to know that the stock rsi on a daily is a little bit overbought so i would personally wait for a pullback but if you believe that, you know, the, the, the whole automation of coding is the future, which it is, right? You, you see literally, there's a literally a new application coming out daily. And Ridges has already proved to be faster and cost efficient than all of them. And we're still early at a $41 million market cap. So go look at the evaluation of Claude. I think it's like valued at $20 billion or something like that. You can see how undervalued, in my opinion, Ridges AI is. Anyways, guys, if you want to know more from the horse's mouth, I would go check out the DSV uh, Revenue Search Podcast 19 with Shaquille. And they talked about Ridges, uh, it's Subnet 62 here. Uh, my boy CM Kid and Mark here. Great podcast, guys. Go check it out. Let me know what you think. Not to add DSV, um, which is a hedge fund for Subnets. 
uh, announced a 200k investment in Ridges AI. So that's how much these guys believe they put out 200 bands at the, because they believe in Ridges at 200k. All right. Anyway, let me know what you think about Tao. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Let me know which subnet I should talk about next. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you in the next one.